From beautiful skyline shots to close up looks at natural disasters, drones can give us a view unlike any other. Now those images aren't just for the pretty pictures though. They can be put in some pretty practical uses. Here's Sebastian Robertson. You might call them the unsung heroes of Fort Worth. If you count our wholesale customers, we're around 1.2 million customers. Travis Andrews and Robert Danowitz are just two of the many men and women at Fort Worth Water who think about sewage so that you and I don't have to. When you have a lot of flooding, it becomes difficult to access low-lying areas. Recently, they've added a small but powerful weapon to their arsenal. They've been cleared by both the FAA and City of Fort Worth to fly this three-pound unmanned aircraft, a drone. When I'm sending crews to hike across a muddy field for five miles, and it's going to take them days, and I can do it with this in hours. Danowitz is the department's only pilot. He has plenty of experience behind yeah. the sticks. Here he is with his prized possession. Oh, I have a 90 scale P-51. He never imagined his lifelong love of model planes. It'll move, yes. <laughs> would one day help him in his day job. Danowitz oversees some 3,000 miles of sewage line. An eye in the sky is a welcomed addition. And getting up in the air actually helps them get valuable insight into what's underground. They're looking for any hints that something may be wrong. Case in point, this video posted to YouTube in 2015. See how the water's moving in a whirlpool? A clear sign that a manhole cover is missing. So even at 400 foot straight down, after the fact, we can go and zoom in and see manholes from that altitude. To date, they've flown about 20 missions. They haven't captured any video just yet, and they're happy about that. Actually, not finding things is a good thing. But soon, they'll need to get to work. It's the nature of their business. Until then, they'll continue to train. In Fort Worth, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.